Hey everybody, Jake here, and today we're going to take a look um, at the CKF Morph. This is just going to be kind of an initial impressions. I've had this knife for about a week and a half. It's on loan um, from a friend of mine, so this is by no means whatsoever a uh, complete comprehensive review. Just my impressions over the time that I've had it. Um, so this is a knife divine, designed by uh, Custom Knife Factory, CKF, and this, um, or it's made by Custom Knife Factory. It was designed by Eugene Wan. I assume I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, but let's go ahead and get to some size comparisons. So we'll move it down here. And we'll start pretty small. Here is the Victorinox Classic SD. Obviously much, much smaller. Completely different style of knife. Next up we have the Southern Grind Spider Monkey. Sorry about the unusual size comparisons today. My collection's kind of all over the place. Uh, next up, the Kaiser T1. So, obviously a little bit shorter than the uh, than the Morph by about mm, half an inch in each direction, both handle and blade. And then we have the Spider Co Shaman, and it is compared to the Morph. Uh, very, very similar in overall length. The Morph obviously has more of a cutting edge. Uh, the Shaman, because of that um, finger twirl there, has more grip area. So it's kind of a trade-off there. All right. Let's go ahead and go into what I like about this knife. So first thing up is the ergonomics. At least for me, that's the first thing that stuck out. Um, it fits my hand very, very well. Um, there's just enough handle to for me to grip it comfortably. And the bit of jimping right here fits perfectly with your thumb. Um, there's, I have a minor complaint about the ergonomics that's going to be brought up uh, later, but for the most part, it's very, very good. Next up, the blade. This thing, um, so the stock thickness is a little thick, but it's such a tall, flat grind that it slices uh, amazingly well. This is, this is an absolutely awesome slicer. Um, there are a few grooves in the blade, which some people might have a problem with catching you know, food material like that. I haven't noticed any issue with it, but I haven't done extensive cutting with this either, so keep that in mind. Um, materials are pretty good. Uh, M390 blade, CKF usually does a pretty good heat treat on their M390. Um, titanium handle, obviously, this one has the carbon fiber inlay. They do have a few different variants of this, and just an FYI, you can no longer get this. Um, the texturing on the handle is very, very interesting. Uh, it's probably one of my favorite things about this knife as well. It's, it's kind of a, a rock pattern, but it's it's really, really cool. Um, they did a really, really good job on this uh, on this texturing here, and it really, really pops. And they did it on the carbon fiber as well, so it, it flows very, very well. The inlays are, are pretty much flush with this. There are a few little, um, you know, a few little bumps where the carbon fiber sticks up above the titanium, but it's not, it's not too bad. Not enough for you to notice unless you're really, really feeling for it. Next up, the flipper tab is probably the best flipper tab I've ever tried in my life. Um, it's, I, I wish this part wasn't, didn't come to a point like that. I wish it was kind of flat. Um, it would make the flipper tab more easy to use, but the flipper tab is very, very good. I haven't had any missed flips with this knife. I'm sure you could get it to miss flip. Um, the detent is a little bit softer than I would like, but it, it's pretty good. Uh, the action's also very, very good. It's a very, very smooth knife. Uh, that's on the deploy and the close. Um, but yeah, the the action's really, really good. The texturing's good. The blade's good. Um, it's a fairly thin knife. It's not, you know, super thin. But it's a good bit thinner than, say, you know, the Shaman. So despite it being a fairly large knife, um, when closed or open, it's, it's pretty slim and it's pretty easy to keep in your pocket. The clip on here works really, really well. It has this kind of, uh, I'm guessing it's a ceramic uh, ball bearing that kind of allows it to pop in and out of your pocket. Um, they do have it come up on one of the points for the texturing, um, at least on this version here. So I was a little worried about that, but it doesn't really cause any issues. And the texturing is not too aggressive. The carbon fiber is pretty smooth, so there's no issues with it um, going into or getting out of your pocket. And um, that's going to be about it for what I like. Let's go ahead and move on to what I'm neutral towards. So first up is actually going to be the hardware. Um, most of this is Torx, except for the pivot. Um, it's a very minor complaint. 
my actual complaint isn't about it being proprietary because it's not really, it's a flathead. My complaint is it being off center. <laughs> um, that just makes it harder for you to get open. I haven't tried messing with this. It's not my knife. Um, but I'm guessing that would prevent present a bit of a challenge since you're not actually in the center. So the as you're turning the screwdriver coin or whatever you're using to open this, um, it would be a little odd. Next up, there's just a hint of, of uh, detent rock. It's not very much. It's very, very, very minor. But it is there, and I notice it a little bit. Um, it bothers me on flippers because when I press down the tab, I can kind of feel the blade click forward. Um, it's not a huge deal. That just hit my rubber tripod leg. Um, it's not a huge deal, but it's just something to, uh, to keep in mind. Something else that isn't a big deal um, but kind of bothers me is when you close it, at least for me, that flipper tab catches my thumb completely. A lot of flipper knives do this, um, for sure. But this one is just so much worse than the other ones. Um, it honestly reminds me a lot of an Isham uh, design flipper tab as far as it uh, pressing into your thumb. And part of the reason is for that is that that big curve there and the fact that it's a long flipper tab. The length of the flipper tab doesn't bother me. I like it quite a bit. But on that close, it, it uh, gets a little bit annoying um, closing and opening this knife here. Next up, the clip of uh, the color is just... I guess they kind of wanted it to match the carbon fiber. I wish they had just gone with the regular stonewashed titanium they did here. Um, and the branding on it's okay. It says Morph 5. Um, and then the, the blade just has CKF, very small there. And then you have M390 here. Um, so the branding's fine on it, but the color for the clip is just weird. I'm, I'm not a big fan of it. All right, let's go ahead and go on to what I dislike. All right. So... The biggest thing here, the only thing here really for me, um, well, there's two things. One of them I'll go ahead and touch on is that when you are when you uh, deploy the blade, the spine of the blade sticks out past the handle just a little bit. You can see it jutting out there. I really wish they'd gone to uh, make it flush. It is a little bit annoying when I'm gripping it because it kind of digs into my thumb. That's my biggest complaint about this knife um, as far as once I have it in hand. <laughs> you know, that's that's what bothers me. The next complaint is that you can't get this knife because CKF does very, very limited runs. Usually by the time you're seeing a review, um, even if it's, you know, someone who's typically pretty quick with them, uh, by the time you're seeing a review, the knife is gone completely. So uh, just keep that in mind. You can't get this. Hence, there's no price mentioned here. Um, I'll mention that in the conclusion. Speaking of which, let's go ahead and go on to the conclusion. All right, so in conclusion, I think this is an excellent knife. Uh, personally, I love it. If you have uh, somewhat larger hands and you're having trouble finding uh, a knife that's very comfortable for you, you use and slices very well, this is going to be a really good option. Um, I would say if you can pick one of these up for uh, 250 to 300, you'd be doing really, really good. Um, again, they don't sell these anymore, so you kind of kind of have to hunt one down. And they do have a few different handle styles. This one's personally my favorite. Um, but if you can find one for under $300 and you like this design, you have slightly bigger hands, pick one of these up. Um, it's really, really good, honestly. Um, I tried to buy it from the person who loaned it to me. They said no, and for good reason. It's a, it's a very, very good knife. Um, but stylistically, ergonomically, and functionality-wise, I, I love it. It's, it's just an absolutely fantastic pocket knife. And um, if you're looking for something in this style, uh, with this quality of fit and finish, uh, build and materials, this is a really good, really good way to go if you can find one. All right, thanks for tuning in, guys. Um, if you have any questions about anything else, just let me know down in the comments, and um, I'll do my very best to get those answered for you. All right, uh, have a good day, and uh, happy holidays. Thanks, guys. Bye.